Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley. This is the first of a two-part series, which is the most important series I have ever done, because I will prove on these two videos that I am who I say that I am, and that is the third eagle of the apocalypse and the co-prophet of the end times. That's because I am going to interpret the dream of a king, and that king is Barack Obama. And that dream was described by Barack Obama in his autobiographical book, Dreams from My Fathers. Now, one year ago this week, an amazing Bible prophecy was fulfilled. And that is that the leopard, as described in Daniel chapter number 7, came up out of the sea. As I have explained before in many other videos, this leopard symbolizes both the United States and Barack Obama. Barack Obama shows all the characteristics of the leopard. First, he has a skin color that is both black and white. Second, he has four heads and four wings, which symbolize that he is the 44th president. And finally, one year ago at his inauguration, he was given power and dominion. Perhaps even more amazing, not one of the televangelists or false prophets or other million dollar ministries recognized this amazing fulfillment of Bible prophecy. And what about Catholic bishops or theologians or even the Pope? Why is it that an old, retired, white-haired third eagle of the apocalypse understands the significance of this event? Not only that, the false prophets still don't understand what has happened. All three beasts in Daniel chapter number 7, the lion, the bear, and the leopard, have now come up out of the sea. All we await for now is the coming of the fourth and last and terrible beast out of the sea, and that is the one world communist tyranny. Also, as you know, yours truly, the third eagle of the apocalypse, prophesied this event four months before Obama was actually inaugurated. Now on this program, I have some even more startling news. This event, the inauguration of Barack Obama as President of the United States, was prophesied to Obama 22 years previously by God himself in a dream which he describes in his autobiography, Dreams from My Father, and which was published in 1988. Barack Obama himself, however, does not understand the meaning of this dream. Or if he does, he never revealed it in his book. And none of the false prophets either have been able to understand this dream, even though they've had a chance to review it for the past 15 years. But why should we be surprised? It takes a true prophet to interpret the dreams of a king. Just like it took the prophet Daniel to interpret the dreams of King Nebuchadnezzar, on this program I will reveal the dream of Barack Obama and its true significance. Now first let me read Obama's description of his dream as found in his autobiography. And please Listen carefully, because this is a very significant dream. We need to remember that Barack Obama is not just an ordinary president. He is found in Bible prophecy. Now, Obama had this dream while traveling on a train back to his father's homeland in Kenya back in 1988. I finally fell asleep and dreamed I was walking along a village road. Now this village road was in Africa that he is dreaming about. Children dressed only in strings of beads played in front of the round huts. And several old men waved to me as I passed. But as I went farther along, I began to notice that people were looking behind me, fearfully, rushing into their huts as I passed. I heard the growl of a leopard and started to run into the forest, tripping over roots and stumps and vines, until at last I couldn't run any longer and fell to my knees in the middle of a bright clearing, 
Panting for breath, I turned around to see the day turned into night and a giant figure looming as tall as the trees, wearing only a loincloth and a ghostly mask. The lifeless eyes bored into me, and I heard a thunderous voice saying only that it was time, and my entire body began to shake violently with the sound, as if I were breaking apart. I jerked up in a sweat, hitting my head against the wall lamp, that stuck out above the bunk. In the darkness, my heart slowly evened itself, but I could not get back to sleep again. Barack Obama understands that this is a very significant dream, or else he would not have included it in his autobiography. What he does not understand is that this is a message to him from God about the end times. And who is this mysterious gigantic figure. Of course, the walking and then the running of Obama signifies his passage through life, and God shows him his future experiences by having him trip over vines and stumps and so on. These are the obstacles he must overcome. However, he will reach a bright clearing, and everything will become much clearer to him. But when will this occur? It occurs when he turns back and sees the day turn into night. This refers to the end times. Remember the prophecy in the Bible about the five wise and five foolish virgins. This rapture occurs in the end times, and it comes at midnight. I'm sure you've also seen the doomsday clock, where the hands on the face are pointing towards midnight. Now, I am sure you subscribers on YouTube have already figured out who this gigantic figure really is, even though none of the false prophets have a clue. That's because the leopard, who has been chasing after Obama and the villagers, turns into this gigantic figure when the day turns into night. And you all know that the leopard in Bible prophecy symbolizes Obama himself. God is telling our future president in this very significant dream that in the end times he will be transformed into a gigantic figure in human history. He will become the leader of the free world. But there are some very disturbing characteristics of this gigantic figure. Barack says his eyes are lifeless. He wears only a loincloth. When he tells Barack Obama it is time, is he telling him that his time is up? What would cause Obama to shake so violently with fear? And why does this figure wear a mask? But there is something even more sinister going on here. And that's because I don't believe Barack Obama has remembered his entire dream. He has forgotten the most important part, and that is the conclusion of his dream. I believe the ending of his dream was so frightening that Obama has actually forgotten it. On the second part of this series, I will reveal the hidden part of his dream and what caused Obama to start shaking so violently. Now, it will take me several days to complete part two of this series, so that should give you false prophets out there time to analyze the hidden part of his dream. Of course, if you could not analyze the published part of his dream, which you've had 15 years to analyze, I really don't expect you to understand the part that Obama himself has not been able to reveal. And this last hidden part the forgotten part of the dream is the most important. And if you would like a free copy of my book, Revelation Unraveled, simply write to the address you see on your screen.